Hey and welcome, this is Amen from Blue Byte Systems and today I'd like to demo the uh, file name hyperlink feature in the 14th version of PDM Cookcell. Alrighty, let's go over to my administration tool and as you can see I've got PDM Cookcell installed here in its 14th version and um, the hyperlink feature um, is a setting within the task. So you need to create a task instance here. Um, I already have created that here. You can always go to your tasks, right click on it, click on new task, and just choose PDM Cook Cell here. So let's close that and go and edit this existing one. And the goal here is to show you where you can uh, toggle this hyperlink uh, file name column feature. So if you go directly, if we have it open here, we can go to the DOM page. And as you can see, um, there's a hyperlink the file name column and here it's turned up to true by default will be false we can switch that back to true and then click on okay awesome and the best way to demo that actually is to go uh, and run the task so i've got here um, an assembly i'm going to right click on it and then go to tasks and just run the pdm to excel and it should show up here in a minute um, in my task list and what this will ha what this will do to the exported BOM is that if the BOM contains a file name or a name column, then that column or the text in that column will be linked to the associated document of that row. Um, it, this one should be pretty quick here to start and finish. So I'll be able to see that um, here in a minute. So it completed successfully. If I go to my export location uh, for this task instance, um, I had it um, export to BOM um, export or to this folder that's called BM export. I'll double click on the mate references file and looks like a normal BOM. However, um, you can see that there are a bunch of hyperlinks here in the name column. So this links directly to the file that's associated with this row. And even if you move the file, um, and even change the name of the file, um, this link would still work. If I click on it and then just confirm here by clicking on yes, it should prompt me to choose which version of SolidWorks I need to, or I want to open this file with. I'm just going to choose to open 2022, open it in 2022, and surely it does open the base plate in SolidWorks 2022. Awesome. Thank you for watching. If you need more information about PDM to Excel, feel free to visit us at bluebyte.biz um, or feel, feel free to reach out to me over on LinkedIn. Again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.